Okay. Yeah. Now we'll work in our Juki. Now we got sound. Morning, guys. They work in my, work in my Bernina, so. Well, yeah, they'll work for me. Whoops. Yeah. All right. I'm going to be doing some quilting, guys. I want to finish up all of my squares. So I have these all ready to go. Oh. And these. Must be live. Yeah, I am. Yeah. And this is what I will be doing on that. Just doing some stippling. That's it. Nothing too fancy schmancy. That's the stippling. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Hi Ida. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Debbie. So I've only got. What I've done on my live shows, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I only have seven done, and I got these ones all ready to get going on. So, that's the one I'm thinking of donating. So, I want to find a good place then where I can donate this quilt when it's all done. How many do you have there? I don't know. Forget. 20? 20 wow. blocks? Yep, I think it's 20. Good morning, ladies. All right. So, let's make some room. I don't want to make a mess. Let's get comfortable in your chair, Rubes. Mm -hmm. Hi, Tracy. <clears throat> All right, let's see how this is going to go. I just hear you. Did it? Who ordered these pin mores? These things are the bomb. Thank you. 
It's a 2010Q. Ruby, is the setting on your machine? Ruby, what model is your machine, Juki? It's a 2010, TL2010Q. And what setting on your machine? No, this is how you have to set your machine for quilting. And it takes a lot of practice to get your your stinking thing to be exactly right I finally got it all figured out after what how many years I don't know what you mean by setting it I set this pattern no I'm doing this all freehand if that's your question Deb That was quick and easy. So I should be able to get all of these finished today. There's no excuse for it. Look at the back. So pretty. It's so stinking cute, guys. See? It's just an all-over stippling. That's what I just did. One down. Next! Coming right up. Whoops. Just pulled my threads. Probably going to run out of Aurifil. Probably going to run out of Bobbin. That's almost guaranteed. Really don't need a long thread like that, Ruby, but anyway hey but I'm really seriously thinking of donating this quilt and I haven't I already ran out of bobbin thread oh and I broke my needle by pulling on it oh god anyway I got one needle left, so thank God for that. Where'd that just go? That just flew. I don't know where it flew to, so throw it in the garbage. Anyway. Speak of the devil, I ran out of bobbin thread. <laughs> and now I need to change my needle. Protect needle. I don't know what that one is. I know I took it out of my machine and just sat it in there, so I have no clue. 
I can't read that writing on it. It's too small for my eyes. Oh, better. Oh, there's that piece of needle. I don't want that on my garbage because that could be a hazardous. You're good again. Good as new. All right. Back to the old drawing board. Ruby, you have improved your stippling by heat beeps, heaps and bounds. <laughs> I have. It's the only thing I've ever done, really, to be honest. So I'm not going to pull out my stitching here. I'm just going to carry on right there. Just as soon as I get this pulled out, my bobbin thread brought up. There we go. All right, take a couple of stitches. Another thing, it takes time. Okay, it takes time in how you move, how you move your um, your fabric around because if you move it too fast, you get humongous stitches. If you move it too slow, you get super tight stitches. So you got to find a balance somewhere when you're doing this. It's just. It just takes a little bit of practice and, and how well you know your machine. So I've, I've had a lot of practice with this, this machine, believe me. And I don't know, just so much practice I had to do and trial and error. I'm not going to say I went into this and was so perfect at it because I, I was not. But the thing is, is getting used to moving your fabric so you have consistent stitches. It's your stitching that's going to matter. Like if I move it way too fast... <laughs> I tend to get a really big stitches, so I got my machine set right now at this speed and it won't go any faster. Because if I work at this at a slow pace, 
I can move it around and maneuver it without having to rush because I got my machine going at 100 miles an hour. And that's going to make a world of difference. And I do avoid those really thick areas. I go around them with a stipple. Rather than run over them. got to make sure you get all the little fuzzies off because if you run over them with your stitches they're hard to get out like the little loose thread you know so I'm coming up to a really thick part right here this is where all the, the joints are right here I'm going around that baby. I am not going to run over top of that seam. So you can see I'm avoiding it. And I just went right around it. You would never ever know. I just avoided a seam like the plate. I'm coming up to another one. And I'll just go up and around it so I don't have to run it over. And that's why it's nice when you can do an all over quilting pattern because you can do things like that. You can avoid it like the plague. one in the middle so I skip that one too That's a good way to bust your needle too. Especially if you don't have a really strong one. Okay. Next one's done. Oh, this one here is kind of hard to see it. But you can still see it on the blue like that see you can still see it
I am going to do this. <coughs> Hi, Kathy. It's a lot. Love it. Yes, I will be doing all of these squares. We've got this many done. <clears throat> Remember I'd done the hearts on this one? Well, look at this. Nope, it's not that one. One of these, the blue came right back. Right here. Look it. You see all the blue ink? It all came right back on this one. So, I'm going to give it another squirt with water and see if it's going to disappear. Maybe I didn't squirt this one. I don't know. But I would really appreciate if that one disappeared. <clears throat> and... I will absorb some of the water with one of my little shoppy towels. Let's see if I can... I don't want to get my glove wet. Like, that better go away, because that's... Initially, I was going to do all these, but I just said, screw it. <laughs> it's going to take too long. And my stitching was horrible, trying to go around it, so... I'd rather not do that kind of stuff. All right, I'll leave this one aside and pray to God it dries. Clear. And that blue mark is gone permanently. So, yeah, I got all these ones done. I think there was 20. I was going to do four across by five down. I think that's how I was initially going to do this. All right. Our thread. Now I take a couple stitches and then give her. Give her till you puke. They're just called locking stitches at the very beginning and at the very end. You just lock your stitching so you can cut your thread. So don't get in my way.
<laughs> I just love how I just go all around these big, you'll see there's, I'll show you. There's a big loop around every single one of these joints because I don't want to run over them. And another thing you need to keep in mind, like I tried to find titanium coated, um, titanium coated sewing machine needles. They are much more expensive, but when you're quilting like this, your needle gets hot because it's constantly up and down, up and down. It causes a lot of friction and uh, it causes your thread to break. So if you had a titanium needle, which is coated, that can withstand the heat from your needle getting hot and you will have way less thread breakages. But those are hard to come by right now. And I would use a size 14 titanium needle if you do happen to find them in your area use a 14 because the the needle hole is bigger and the eye of the needle the, the bigger it is the less likely you're going to get broken thread because if your needle holes too big and it's causing friction you're going to get a little bit of lint build up and that will also cause your thread to break. Hi, Cynthia. It's just a lot of these little tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. And by no means am I any kind of professional quilter, because I'm not. And I never will be. It's not something I want to commit myself to being a long arm quilter or but if I can help other people along the way in the same path that I choose to do quilting, and that is just do what I can. Do what my mind will allow me. But it is, this quilting is super duper easy to do. I promise you, it's not rocket science. What is rocket science is knowing how to handle your machine because everybody's sewing machine is different. So your machine needs to go at different, different speeds than mine, you know? So you need to keep that in mind when you're going to take on this kind of uh, free motion quilting. And actually... I prefer this. I don't need a big fancy quilt with fancy quilt lines all over it because I'll tell you what, all those quilts I done at Christmas time for my kids, I did an I did all over patterns. Like I used stippling, I did swirls, like just easy things. The quilts look amazing. Absolutely amazing. Even though I didn't go and spend hundred, hundreds of dollars getting a long armor to, to quilt my, my quilts when I saved myself. And yeah, I made a lot of mistakes on them. But hey, who's going to see that? You can't. There's just too much. So even if you do make a mistake, it'll be well hidden in your quilt. This is why I'm not worried that if, oh, I made a, a big stitch or, oh, I made that bump lopsided, you, you won't ever see it. It's just, it's just impossible. So, somebody would have to sit there and look at every single stitch to, to find that. So, and you can see where I've locked my stitches. Okay, so I'm going to try and show you up close. If you can see, I went around that very thick area. I went around that. I went around all these inner, especially this one. That one is huge. But you see, it's a circle around it. You can't tell. And you can't really see it on the back either. I tried to try. Well, you can. 
sort of see. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's just such a, such a, an easy way to quilt your quilts is with this stippling. And a lot of people do use this. I'm not the only one, believe me. A lot of people stipple their quilts because it's just quick. And, you know, whenever I get my batting in, I'll be moving into my kitchen because that's where my frame is. And I'm going to be doing my free motion quilting on my frame on the five quilts that I have completed. And this one I don't because this is quilt as you go. Hey. <laughs> okay, Mary. See you after, hon. Yeah, this one is quilt as you go. So I don't have to worry about this. There's my locking stitch. Just take a couple of stitches. Don't do too much. And then start moving your fabric. Very slowly. Not too slow. Just keep it at a pace. When you see, when you look at your stitching, you go, oh yeah, that's perfect. When you look over here, that's a little big. Who cares? But I know, I know that I got my machine always set at a speed because I like to step on the pedal too much. So I got it stepped on a speed that will be very consistent and it's not going super fast. If I do go super fast, I'm just going to have a lot of thread breakage and I just, I'm not in that much of a rush to you know, want to sit here and change my needle out and change my thread constantly. No thanks. I will just keep it at this slow pace. Like it's not even halfway. It's like quarter of the way of my speed on my rabbit setting here. So I don't know, you know, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them. That's why I'm here. If I can help you, I will. One thing for sure, when you start off quilting, make sure your machine's clean, make sure you have a brand new needle, and make sure your machine is oiled. 
before you even start quilting anything. So always when you start a new project, you should change your needle. But I can't afford to change my needles because I'm too low on needles. And I'm having a hard time getting some. spot right here. There we go. <clears throat> that one. And again, you're not going to be able to see it, but you can see it definitely on the top and in the back. Is Singer 2277 Tradition Essent... What? Essential... What? I can't read that. i got to get closer. <laughs> Essentially. Is Singer 2277... Um, that I don't know, Rachel, because I've never owned a Singer sewing machine. Never. So I, I would be a whole lost cause. There. Is that better? Close enough for you guys? I think so. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta see if the lady came to pick up the masks out of the mailbox. I'm kind of excited to sew these blocks together to see what it's going to look like. But I am putting lace on it.
snowed last night. Hmm. She didn't pick them up yet. Patsy, the lady's going to knock on the door when she gets here to pick up her masks out of the mailbox. Can you grab the money because it's so windy out, it'll just blow out of the mailbox. As I said, why don't you just stick an envelope or a container there? But it's... Because uh, anyone could just walk off with it. That's why. I have too many people. When is she coming? She's on her way. It's... Uh -huh. Yeah. She had it. She had a toothbrush? Yep, she had a green one. I gave her one already. But now you're going to have to give her something. Okay. So, I'm going to take a couple of locking stitches. And here we go. Get out of here. I just made a little loop right there to avoid that piece. And I'm going to avoid that one too. And I'm telling you, get a pair of these gloves, please. They are freaking awesome. Hi, Amy. How are you? that thick area. Is that the Donald Sugar movie? 
I don't know. Should have. Should have. I don't ever use it. Get in there. One done. There we go. Beautiful. So beautiful. These are going down quite quickly. Don't you think? Oh, you posted a machine? I should go look. I have to go have a look. Where is it? Is it in the group?
I can't find it right now. Where are you? Where are you? Not there. Okay, well, I'll have to look after. I can't find it. What's the matter, Tia? I need a swig of coffee, and I think I'm going to go take and leave. I woke up this morning with right in the, like, here's my knee, okay? Here's my leg and my knee. Right here in this joint, right there. There's a whole bunch of pain right there in my knee, in my right knee. And it's very uncomfortable. This growing old sucks. Not going to do it gracefully. Let's see how many I got. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I only have eight left to do, and I can start sewing this together. Oh, I might even have this done today. Oh, my gosh. I'm excited. As for the motorblock quilt, don't even ask. That one, I'm not liking the blocks they're putting out lately.
this growing old shit sucks. Uh, I just took gonna leave. I couldn't remember where I put them. <laughs> they were in my purse. And I haven't been in my purse for weeks. <laughs> because I haven't gone to work. Okay, get off all the lint fabric pieces. Let's get her done. Perfect. Get out of my way. All right, a couple of stitches. Oh, wait, did you guys see what I posted in the group? Oh, my gosh. I am making a Scrabble board quilt. And you can go and order the panels. They are uh, 24 by 44. And go look in the group. I posted it, it. I posted a video that I saw last night before I went to bed. I was like, oh, my God. She made a big quilt with all her family's names, all like a Scrabble board. These are these were done by Hasbro, so they got a license to make the fabric. So they are the actual tiles, and I think they're about three inches. So hi Julie, you can you can make use it all your scraps, but of course I had to buy a fat eight bundle because that's what's on sale at right now at um, Fat Quarter Shop is a fat eight bundle of 40 fat eight. So it's eight by, by uh, 44, no, eight by 21. So they're big, fair enough pieces that I can cut them into the little squares um, to fill it in where you don't use the lettering. But it's so cool. I even posted the video of the lady that I saw that made it. Yes, Jean True Love, yes. It is absolutely the most beautiful heirloom quilt anyone can ever make to pass down into their families. So I ordered five panels because they're only eight something a panel. So I ordered five of them just so I make sure I have enough letters uh, to make my grid. So I'm going to print off a grid with squares in it and I'm going to fill in all the names and try to do it. Uh, I, I don't kind of like the way she did the one right side of her quilt where there's no names or anything there. It's all square. So I want I don't want to do that. I want to make sure I can fit everybody's name in the quilt, uh, including my last name, their last names. Now, it's going to consist of, of all of my family, my mom and dad, which is Colleen and Julius, my sisters, and three of my brothers and five sisters and not I'm not putting their kids and their husbands but I am doing my kids and their husbands and their children so I'm thinking this is going to be the most beautiful heirloom quilt um it's kind of going to be basically my family tree of my own family and but I do want to put my brothers and my sisters in that I have nine brothers and sisters, but one of them I disowned, and I haven't talked to him in probably 25 years, and I won't plan on talking to him anytime soon. So his name won't be going on my quilt, unfortunately. He doesn't live here, thank God. I haven't, like I said, I haven't talked to him about 25 years, and he tries to talk to me on Facebook, but I ignore him. I think he got the message finally. Yes, Jean True Love did this Scrabble quilt, and it is just so beautiful when I saw that I was like I have to make that and then I'm thinking 
Oh, geez. She showed the fabric that she used, and it said 2018 on it. And I'm thinking, okay, well, this fabric is not nowhere going to be found. But, yep, company has it. And the shipping wasn't even too bad for me to Canada. So, I'm quite pleased with that. And I love the Fat 8 bundle that was on sale at Fat Quarter Shop. I forget, it's got birds and I don't know, just it's so pretty. It's under their flash sale, under pre-cuts. And it's the only Fat 8 there. I'm not sure when I'll get to making that, but I would rather wait to make it till my other grandchild is born. So I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. So, <laughs> yeah. And I just love, and Jean True Love on that video, she said she had a cough and shortness of breath. And she was given, um, puffers or whatever medication and she was, seems fine. She did not say she had coronavirus. She had probably a lung infection, she said. And she is such a happy-go-lucky lady. Oh my gosh, I just love her. Now, all I did was I went into Google, I typed in Hasbro, Scrabble, Letters Fabric, because it even's got the score points on these. It looks like an actual Scrabble tile. It is so cool. Just so wicked cool. Dodge that like a bullet. I dodged that one like a bullet. <clears throat> Yes, it will be, won't it, Martha? And we're out of fat, out of thread. piece there. All right, let's change our bobbin.
Hi, Phyllis. Good morning. All right, where did it break off? Oh, right here, I ended. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go back over a couple of stitches. Bring my bobbin thread up. And go over that. Lock it in place. all I had to do <laughs> for that thread. There we go. Another one done. Beautiful. Just love it. the batting. Okay.
So Canada had its first major, and I'm talking, it is the worst mass shooting that Canada has, in, has ever had in history. Uh, some den tourist who lived in uh, Nova Scotia, which is an eastern province from me, uh, shot and killed over 17 people yesterday in a 100-kilometer radius, including an RCMP officer who was a 26-year veteran of an R. She was beautiful. She left behind a husband and children, and he shot and killed, and nobody... He was ended up... They ended up shooting him. This started 11 o'clock at night on Saturday. They didn't shoot him until probably 12 hours later. They found him at a gas station where they shot and killed him there. To this, to this, They will never, ever know why he shot and killed all these people or what happened. They're, they're not saying much anyways, even if they did know. And they're saying that some of the victims were not known to the um, killer. So that was just really, really sad. Off, God off. There was a mass shooting in Montreal way, way, way back, like many, 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 many years ago. Um, I think it was in the 80s, early 80s, and I think it, that women were gunned down. I don't remember. But anyways, this one topped the history of a mass shooting in Canada ever to happen. And like someone wrote, I read some of the comments that people had said under the um, the news release, is it's not just the Americans, it's the people that do these mass shootings. It's got nothing to do because they're American. It's got to do with the messed up minds that these people have, or what drives them to do what they do, you know. And... The sad part is, he had a vehicle that was souped up, identical to an RCMP police car. And, the, yeah, it was at the University of Montreal, right? And he was dressed in an RCMP uniform. And he, he, we don't even know where he got all this stuff from. They even posted a picture of the vehicle that he was in that they were trying to catch him in. Of course, he ditched that vehicle after. Because that's not the vehicle he was in when he was gunned down. And I believe it was all women that were killed because every year... Since that happened, where all those women were shot and killed, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was only 12 at the time. That happened on December the 6th. I don't know what year it was. Back in the early 80s, because it was every year on my birthday. Um, that memoriam comes up for the women that were shot and killed. I'm 
big intersections. Oopsies. Good way to break your thread too. Yeah, he had to have planned it, BJ, because he had that vehicle all souped up, that RCMP uniform. comes of this, our gun laws will probably get tighter and stricter, that's for sure. God only knows where he even got his weapon. The thing is, is they have to retrace that about 100 kilometers where he was to see if there was any more dead people. So I don't even know if that count will change. Because he was killing people along, his, along the way.
down. Now he's singing happy birthday. So there's that one. All done. Patsy, your phone ringing? Your phone's ringing. Miku's saying hello.
message. Remember, I told you I couldn't get back my other one. Mm -hmm. I didn't even hear this. Well, that's a ringtone. You, that's not a message tone that you use. It's a message from the old one. What? It's a message. Oh shoot, didn't want to do that, but oh well. Alright, another one done. There we go. That one you can see. All of the, the lines. Hi Yvonne! Oopsies. This one. Let's start here because the pin wasn't right through. I need to take a break. <laughs> this gets hard on the back. Wow, I can't seem to get that blue shit to remove. Just keeps drying and coming back. Wow, let me see if I can iron it away. 
Even though you're not supposed to iron this. Damn. Let's see if I can do a little bit of steam. But I don't want to wreck my square. Oh, Miku's barking. I'll be right back. Oh. I need to stand anyways. Oh, God.
put well one of the masks I made does not fit that lady son he's big boy so I gotta remake a bigger one so oh well that's the breaks well I'm just gonna start because my thread was cut so with the stupid cutter try to hold it a bit oh sure there we go get out of the way okay foot pedal come back to me my leg is too full for this Oh, I wish I could get that thing to just stay. It don't matter what I do. It does not stay. I mean, this is weird. I have a bird that barks when people come. You can see people pull in the driveway and he barks right away. It's like, woo, 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 woo. That's what he does. I don't know if you guys hear him, but it is so cute. I said to Patsy, is she here? And she goes, well, what do you think? <laughs> Meaning, <laughs> he's barking. <laughs> burnt out of making masks so I'll just have to take a little break and get one today because I'm finishing this quilt it's the last thing I do Jeff, before you come home, will you call me? Please? Do you hear me? <laughs> you like hearing me coo bark? <laughs> I know. It's priceless.
All right. Another one down. These did not take as long as I thought they would. Oh, my iron was warm. I'm going to try and touch it. Heat it up a little. Yeah, it's not getting rid of the blue. Oh, well, maybe it'll come out when I wash it. I don't know. Okay. Oh! That pin more. I knocked it right off with my arm.
wish I could lock the wheels on my chair that it doesn't move. locked myself out <laughs> so I'm gonna have to trace my way back here very carefully and I ran out of thread anyway back through so you won't even know it my husband
Shit. Happy Cow Ruby audio was off. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, yeah, I like that one. That's the one I need to get one and two of. Yeah, and they got them on their site because I went there. You can get a printed version, which is cheaper, the digital download, or yeah. you can get it mailed to you. Yeah, okay, I'll go. I'll go uh, and then Goodness Grows has one right to the finishing. I never never used any any of these. Yeah, those are coming in our boxes now, aren't they? I think I have a couple of those. Or is that a different Well, then you can give them to your sister. That's what, yeah. And this That's one what are all That's Missouri it. Start Quill Company, all five of these, six of these patterns. This one's a self-binding baby blanket, a bow tie party quilt, Summer Wishes, Magic Diamonds, Stained Glass Quilt. This one's pretty. The Stained Glass Quilt. And this one's called Jelly Basket. And these are all out of my Sew Sampler boxes. So this is the one I had for 30 because for all of these. So these are all their monthly patterns that I never made. Okay. Sweet Daisy, the Acorn Caps, the new Soulmates. Cupcake Crossing, Banana Leaves, Straight and Arrow, Apple Crisp. Everybody's making that one. And the Mai Tai. And these are called Sunday Best Pillows. Never made those. Okay. Okay. So that's that complete set. And then these are some more that I couldn't fit in that picture. This one's pretty, the Confetti Star. That's a whole quilt. Yeah. Yeah. Cherry picking. That's the the pictures, or that's the quilt mm -hmm. blocks. And this one's called Farm to Garden. This is simple handmade bag pattern, and the ellipsis. So there you go. I love that star. That's one of my favorites. That star. Yeah, that's. I've seen a lot of ladies on the Kimberly's site there that made this. Yeah. And they made the mm -hmm. apple chris, they made the ellipsis, they made the acorn one. They're, I see mm -hmm. all of them. But if you want all these, they're all yours then. Yes, ma'am. I will take them. Well, then, see, isn't it, aren't you glad they took it down? They even sent me a message and yeah. said, all of your posts have been removed as you have broken the rules or something. I'm like, good, kick me out because your guys' shipping is ridiculous anyways. Crazy. Yeah. But yeah, we will take them. All right. He was so excited. So. <laughs> well, there you Just go. Just let me know and we'll get it all arranged. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. No hurry. Whenever you're ready. Just well, Jeff will drop them in the mail to you tomorrow. So where was well, I weaseling? Tonight and let me know what the, I need to finish. Yeah. Oh, well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Well, I'm glad they're Monday. going to you. Monday, Monday. Not some stranger. <laughs> we will put them to good use. She's always looking for something. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I won't be making those because I usually buy quilt kits. I don't follow yeah. patterns very easily. All right. Yeah. I managed. I just don't, I guess, I don't know where I'm going to end it. I guess right here. That was a dumb move. I can't believe I did that. But DJ, hey. what happened to Fat Quarter Shop? Nothing. Nothing happened. I, I posted that. some patterns for sale in the Sew so Sampler group, and they removed all my posts and said I broke the rules. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Oh, that's good. Uh... They are so strict in there, man. If you mention another company, you're getting kicked or blocked. Wow. Yeah, they're pretty pretty stingy. 
And I've seen them do it to people. Wow. Mm -hmm. Where they're, they accidentally, or they just say something in there, oh, please check out this site. They have great deals, and then bang, bye, they're gone. My chair is sliding away on me. Oh no, I'm going to run out of Orofil thread on the top. I just noticed my spool going down. This is the last block. <laughs> and I don't think my thread's going to agree with that. So I'm going to have to re-thread my machine. It's going to run out. And I am not going to do what I just did to myself and block myself out. Oh, hi, Sharon. I didn't see you saying it. Hi, Sharon. I think I'm going to run out right when I'm close to being done this block. Looks like I'm going to be running out very soon. Oh, okay, sir. working on a farmer's life book. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you gonna let me make it? <laughs> Have you guys seen how much was on my spool? You know I'm taking an awfully big chance here. I think it's gonna work. Woo! And it did. Look at that. It worked. Ta -da. 
Yay! So, we are done all these blocks. So let me get everything all set back up. So, this was what's left of my spool. <laughs> I think I'll change it now. <laughs> oh, come on, Renee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'll put a new spool on. <sighs> Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you did sneak through on that one. I managed on that one, boy. That was cool. <laughs> really cool. Get that. Oh, that really allowed me Karen? to. Sharon said she's finally catching up to you on her farmer's wife's well. Oh, well, I allowed you an extra week, see? Yeah. She's getting all caught up and watching him in with me. There we go. Rethread it. Hi, Nan. How are you? Hi, Nan. All right. So let's reset our machine. Back to two. Two. Left the feed dogs. All right. <coughs> Get rid of this presser foot. I don't be needing it. All right. Now I need a scrap piece of fabric. Just so on. Scrap box just to bring up my feed dogs. There we go. Perfect stitching every time. All right. Okay. I do gotta go potty though. Now, put these back. Now, I am going to be needing my knife. I'm done with this stuff for now. Put all these pins back in here. I know there's some of them laying down, upside down. Okay, just stay in there. And that's all I care about. Don't need my pin more. But I do need to put these in some kind of an order. Because I have darks. On one side, so I want to do one dark. What the heck? So, one dark and one light. There's the darks. Should have ten of each. There's the lights. Dark. Light, dark, dark and dark. Okay. So, I think it was four across. So we don't want anything the same. So let's take this one. And 
match it up here. No, because those two are the same. So there. A dark, a light. And now let's take a dark center. Here's a dark center. And there's that one. See, I'm trying not to get these the same too. So, you know, I want a kind of a dark, kind of a light, kind of a dark center. Does it say five by five? What? Does it say five by five? Yeah. Okay. So now we need a light. So let's pick a light one, I guess. And then that is too much the same. So those two will be good. So there's my row one. So we started with a dark, a light, a dark, a light. So we gotta start with the light. So let's do this one and let's make sure. Nope, that's gonna match up. That won't. Those are kind of the same blocks. Let's find something right. different. Here we go. All right, so that'll work. So that one's good. Now, here's a light. Why? Uh, no, I needed a light. Let's have a look here. So those won't match up. Okay, so there's a dark and I need a light. No, that's not going to work. I need a light in the light. A light center. This will have to do. This is the lightest. Well, this one's light. Okay. So, let me see. Are we going to match up? No, but I don't want the greens to be close. Sorry. So, that'll work. And then we need a dark one for this one. So, let's have a look at... There's a purple in that one. So, let's move this this way. And none of this matches here. So, this one's good. And I need another light. This one. So it's two of the same here. So let's switch it. And the third one we have black and green. So that will work out perfect. All right. Now we're down to light, dark, light. And a dark. Okay. So we have this. Those perfect. And let's not have the same up here. And they kind of are close. So let's check this out. No, those are two the same. Nope. It's going to have to go this way. All right. So there's the second row. Now let's start with a dark light. So we have green in that. That's good. Nope, those two match. So do these match underneath? Nope, there's a green and a purple. So let's switch it this way so that the black is on top. Now, light, the light. So those two are the same. Let's try this. So this one has black and that. Those work out perfect. And dark one. 
Hmm. No. That should have been light, dark, light, dark. Light, dark, light, dark. No, this should have, should have been dark, light, dark, light. All right, so. Let's switch these around. Damn it. No, that can't go there. Nope. But it, nope. But it can. Let's just grab a different one. There we go. That one's good. That one's good. And light. Oh, those two are good. There's green and purple. Those two work out. There's two. And then... So we have dark light. Dark. Nope, those are matching. That's good. So we have black and we have that white. Yep, that's good. And... Now we need a light. Miku's barking again. So those two are not matching. So there is row three. Okay. Oh, shoot. That's why he's barking. All right, I gotta sanitize my hands because I got a package and it wasn't for me, it was for Patsy. Uh, and I touched it and I threw it, the box back outside. Ow! Ooh, I have a cut. Okay, so we have dark light. Oh, I have two darks in a row. Dark, light, dark. I need to check that. Put this one here. So, are we good on colors there? Mm-hmm. What about underneath? It's purple and teal. Yes. That one's perfect. Now we're going to start with the light. So... Not that one, sorry. It's gonna have to be this one. Why do I feel like I don't have enough? Four times five is 20. I should have enough. Those are two matching. There we go, that's good. Um, are these all darks? I thought I had 10 of each. Well, we'll see. Okay. Oh, shit. That works. As long as it works over here. Yep. So there's a light dark. There's a light. And this one's fine. So, and nope and that yep all right so why do I have <coughs> I don't understand this 
So I'm going to flip over these to make sure I've done them right. So we have a dark. Oh, wait. I can't go that way. I've got to flip them over. Okay, so that one's good. That's the order they have to be sewed in. That's one row. That's one row. Aha! Uh -huh. There's where I'm missing, where the boo boo is. All right, well, we'll just switch off those two match. Those two are the same. How about this? Yep, and yep. All right. That one's good. So what I need to check is the last row, last one, to make sure it's a green and a teal, but these ones aren't the same, and they're not. Okay. There we go. Let's flip these and make sure you have that. row one. So row one, two, three. This one here I gotta set it out because I need to see the colors. Nope. Try to get her in there, but that one's good. And light. Oh, nope. That's not the same. Light and the dark. That is the same. So these two are different. We have green and purple. Perfect. And then this one can't have the same. And none of it's the same. Okay. Perfect. So, this is the fifth row. Coco. And this is the fourth row. Get over here. Oh, I forgot to zoom out, guys. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. is row four and this is row five so one two three four five isn't that gorgeous I'm excited but I gotta go potty and I gotta put water in my iron I'm going to have to decide if I'm going to put the lace on, which I'm almost guaranteed I'm going to be putting the lace on because I, I've got a feeling these are not going to be even, the borders, the, 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 but the back is going to look awesome. So I'm going to dig out some lace, which I don't remember where I put it because I put everything away and I don't know where it is, but i got to go. Okay.
Why don't you click them? I don't want to use the lace that I have in my dog cabin quilt, so it's got to be here. he's barking. Okay. Oh. Why is he barking? Okay. Well, I'll decide what lace I want to use. Okay. So, this is row one, which means we are going to sew these two pieces together. Ruby? Yeah? Karen has forgotten what uh, <coughs> that, that mm. is, the name of it. What's the name of the trying to think this is not this quilt as you go was not a pattern of anyone's but Jordan fabrics has a pattern for this but you have to buy the pattern okay. yeah it says okay all right yeah okay. but the quilt as you go was my idea to do it this way because I just didn't want to oh did I no I sewed these right okay so I really think my zipper foot will come in handy for this so I'm gonna put my zipper foot on because I can sew nice and close to that edge here Coco. He's calling Coco. Alright. Yes, a zipper foot will be much easier for me to get around this along this edge nicely. So put my foot over there for now. And make sure you back stitch. Might have to help it along. Me too. Guess what? Jeff's home. Guess where you're going? Yep, in your room. Okay, let's see how that worked out. Just press this open. I don't know. It might be okay. Let's check the back. This is what I was afraid of. These not matching up. Shit. I should have matched these up. Oh well. First one. It's alright. Now, the only thing is, is we can't iron this. I forgot. So you're just going to have to do a... Yeah, see, those didn't match up. You're just going to have to do a press and seal because you can't iron this uh, batting at all. You could... pin it, which I think I'll stick a couple of pins in it. 
and I am going to, ow, oh, jeez, dang, oh. yeah, I'm going to have to put some pins in this, hold it down, because you can't iron this, I forgot. You can't iron this batting. You iron the batting and it's going to be ruined. It'll be flat. Like a board here. Alright. It's kind of a bummer I wasn't paying attention to my pieces here. And lining them up. So, I don't know. I'm going to see. I might put the lace. Just because I didn't match those up. So, where are you? way you still can see it. I got more of this anyway, so I'm not concerned. Scissors. Where are you? Okay. I'm going to turn it this way. Oh shoot, I'll put that there. Oh boy. I'm just gonna have to hold this lace. So, roll this up. In our, oh. I'm gonna change my foot, because I don't like this zipper foot. It doesn't. It doesn't allow the fabric to move like um, on the feed dogs. Okay. Just take your time. I know I'm rushing and I don't know why. Okay, enough! What? The lace is 
going to look really good on that. Yeah. And I know you want to go in your bed, baby girl. Because he drives you crazy. I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just wondering if this is wide enough. Well, yeah, I guess. I start right at the top? No, I did not. I did not start here. Is that your hole? Uh -huh. Yeah. What? Yes. Hope it's fabric Hello? Yes? Good, hi, Kathy. Sure. Sure. I'm just going to grab it.
Patsy. Oh, it is huge. Okay, that was my fabric landlady. And I've lost my phone. But I want to show you this. Look at the size of this strawberry. Jeff just brought home. Like, seriously. <laughs> Jeff said it's like a whole apple. And I got a package. Oh no, I cut the bag. Oopsies. Oh, look at these. They're so cute. They're charms. Oh, that's a button. Did you wipe them off? Well, Patsy, they've been in the mail for over three months. Oh dear. Look at the darning needle. Sewing machine. Scissors. Um, little scissors. Uh, a little ruler, <laughs> measure tape, um, and buttons. These are so stinking cute. Look. <laughs> These are darling. I only ordered these three months ago. And they took this long to get here. In China? Yeah. They didn't ship them until late because of the COVID. So. Sorry, but I don't trust anything anybody's touched other than me. But those are cute, right? And that strawberry is amazing. <laughs> All right. So now we'll sew this side down and see how this looks. Ah! Instead of fixing my thread, I pulled it out. Um, So remember, whatever you do, don't iron this this fabric. I need to call them back. She's going to be calling back 
because Patsy put an order in too. This is a huge strawberry. Mm. That is so juicy. Oh my God. And sweet. Come on, get in there, you little wicked witch. I'm going to have to make sure I pin it on both sides because when I pull the pin out, all of this just comes completely undone. Oh, my strawberry's in the way. Oh, I got strawberry on there. It's alright, I'll be washing this anyway. Alright. So this is how the back looks. I don't know what you think of the back, but I think it's pretty awesome. You can't even tell I mucked it up there. This is so cute, but this did not go on very straight. Um, the little charms came from China, AliExpress, Sharon. And I bought them because I never had anything to hang off of my zipper pulls. That's the reason I did that. But I ordered those back in January. Jeff, these are the sweetest, sweetest strawberries I've ever eaten in my life. Really? Yes. Oh, they're on sale. Huh? They're on sale. Jeff, can you take this? Because I really don't want that in my garbage here. Mm. Right. Are you live? Yeah, why? Okay, I'll talk to y'all later, bye. Huh? Okay, so this time I'm going to try to match up my colors. my my border put a pin in it like how much better that sewed for me. Let's see if it matched up a lot better. Yes. A lot better. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Okay. 
So. lots of pins in here because if I don't if I don't do it this way is Martha okay? She she didn't answer the call or my message so I don't know if she's on another call or she's just I don't know I hope nothing yeah, I happened to her to dad. I know. Because he wasn't he doing well. He's not answering and I don't want to aggravate her. No. Unfortunately, if I ironed this, it would stay pl in place like I do with my log cabin or my Christmas quilt. But <coughs> but because this is um, guy use different batting in this, you can't iron this batting. It'll totally be destroyed. I'm kind of worried about Martha. Seriously, am. Um. Okay. Now let's cut a piece of lace. I don't know if I like this lace. So, guys, I'm, I'm not using this one. Because this is lace that you're supposed to put a ribbon through it. So I'm going to take this one off. I wouldn't put lace around something at all frail. I'm wondering if I should just leave the border like this and forget the lace. What do you guys think? Forget with the lace. With the lace or without the lace? Need something. I don't kind of like this. I don't know. I don't like that part. more. I got new ones. I'm going to dig into my new ones. With lace, eh? All right. I'm going to pick a pretty one. That's going to cover this width. And this one almost looks like it's perfect. Let's have a look, see. Oh, yeah. Okay, I like this one better. Okay, so we'll use this one. And I got another package. What? Ruby? Yeah? I want you to take a break and call Martha back. In chat. Okay. Well, she didn't answer me, but you're closer to Martha than me, so she might. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about her. Okay, I won't do anything yeah, else, guys. I don't want to spoil this. So 
I'm going to end my stream and I'm going to go check on Martha. I'm sorry, but I got to find out what's going on. Okay. I might be back. We'll see. Bye, guys.